Sayok's co-worker at Ultra Gentlemen's Club. This man knew Sayok over 20 years, but only last month found out he supported Trump. Did, um, did he ever talk politics or anything? You know what? I, it, as far as his political views, I didn't even know about it until about um, until I started working here with him. When I came in here about a month ago and uh, saw that he was here, I was greatly... He, he worked for me yesterday so I could take my, my son over to Fright Nights down the street. Take note of the dates. Eyewitness testimony would prove that Sayok was in Florida when he was allegedly placing his fake bombs in Soros's mail. Please follow along because this is important. Of all the fake bombs, many seem to just show up. Where are the details? We have some details, at least about the first fake bomb which Soros received. But first, let's listen to what else this guy says about Sayok, shall we? He used to come in with two big double bags, and I heard yesterday when he worked for me that he even brought in a cooler along with his double bag. He was always doing something up here in the DJ booth. Nobody ever really knew. And I don't know if that was the case, but... Do you think it was weapons? We don't know. I mean, it's just, you don't need that much of a double bag for DJ equipment, for sure. <laughs> Do you know, was he still living down in Aventura? Do you know where he was living? I don't know. I, I never knew where he was living. I have no idea. Did you ever see his van parked out front? Or uh, no, I have never seen it, but uh, one of the other girls were telling me about it. Yeah, that was the van when we saw it being transported. He said, yeah, that's his van. Yes, of course, the van. Well, this obviously proves he's a maniac. Interesting, though. All these stickers seem to change kind of frequently. It's like he adds them and with precision detail. Has to be daily. Why, he has had to been working on this for years. Wait, what? What is this? Well, now, that is odd. He only started all this off the wall crazy like two years ago? MSN tracked down his aunt. Please see the links below. She paints a picture of a somewhat troubled guy who would be perfect to take the rap for some rogue operation to throw an election. But let's back up and see if we can find some facts or evidence that Sayok could not have acted alone in this again. Look at the dates. Um, yesterday when I was working for me, about 10 o'clock in the morning, he was out in the parking lot working on his van. He's always telling her she was working on the van. I'm always working on the van. Let me ask you, let me ask you. Again, yesterday would have been the 25th. Not sure how Sayok could have been there and delivering fake bombs in New York the same day. Okay. No, I contacted him on Tuesday to work for me on Thursday. Um, I worked with him Sunday night. You know, we worked together on Sunday night because he counts the dances on Sunday nights. And uh, we worked together last Sunday. Okay, so Sunday you worked uh, with him. Saturday, Friday, was he working at all? Uh, I wasn't here on Saturday. I was here on Friday. Um, no, he wasn't here on Friday. But he, he works nights too, so I, I mainly work days. Okay. Anything else to add? Anything you want to the, only, say? the only days that we worked together would, was Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So we worked every Sunday together, and that's when I got to see him. And last Sunday, I mean, nothing strange. I mean, uh, he was over there sitting on his desk. He always watched the news, though. He was always on that TV watching the news. Uh, so. Worried about getting The Fox it. Channel, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, Fox, of course. Because crazy people watch Fox. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, right. So, what was Sunday? Sunday was the 21st. So what was Monday? The 22nd. The day Soros received what the feds stated was hand-delivered. So please do riddle me this. How did Sayok go and pull this one off when a one-way trip would take over 18 hours? I rest my case here. Sayok did not act alone. Who were his handlers? Are they the same ones who MK altered Nick Cruz? In closing, here is Sayok's manager from the strip club he worked at. <laughs> That topic alone would need its own vid. In short, everybody knows most of those guys are gay, which then brings about how he could possibly work for 30 years around all those gays without an incident of homophobic rage. S-A-C-Y-S-A-C-C-A-L. 
I am the general manager. And so, when you found out in the last couple hours that Cesar Soyak uh, was arrested in connection with all these these uh, alleged bomb incidents, what, what was your first reaction? What was your thought? Shock. Shock and disbelief. Um, until I heard his name, I still didn't want to believe that it was his band. Um, these people started telling me that it was his band, I, and I heard there was political stickers. I never noticed those. He always parked in the back, and I thought it looked like an ice cream truck. So I never knew he even was any political anything. He never spoke politically to anybody in here until last night. How do you feel that such a scary man uh, was working side by side you every day? It's terrifying to know somebody and think you know somebody. I mean, you, you work with this person. Nicest guy, just a great guy. He was one of our, you know, he greeted people at the door. Just a really nice guy. Everybody loved him. It is amazing. You just can't even. No, come on in. Sorry, you're going to have to edit that part out. I can. Okay. Um, it's not like it's a lot of everything. Nice, you're good. Yeah. Uh, you just, you think you know someone and then you find out there's just something really sick going on up there. It's just scary. It's scary to think that who knows what he was doing, when he was doing this, what are how your other far it could have say? gone. I mean, he, he worked here a lot, you know? What do your other employees say? What are they thinking? Same thing. Just complete shock and, and disbelief. So was he super political um, inside work? Nope. Never knew. He was affiliated to any party whatsoever. He never spoke on that, that issue ever. Uh, he just was a nice guy. He'd talk about work, he made jokes, you know, he was funny. It was uh, just very uh, unbelievable is what it is.